It is efforts by Venezuela to mediate the issue of denationalization of Haitians in the Dominican Republic go nowhere. The Bahamas and CARICOM continue to press for a resolution. This is the Bahamas government highlights a policy going forward for Haitians in the Bahamas. Our Julian Reed has the story. Foreign Affairs and Immigration Minister Fred Mitchell says that Prime Minister Perry Christie's position is that the Bahamas has to remain engaged with the Dominican Republic. Bilaterally, due to our concerns about migration and other issues, including poaching in Bahamian waters by Dominican fishermen, and multilaterally with groupings like CARICOM. I think what CARICOM has to do is to make a strong call for these meetings to be resumed and that uh, you let the Dominican Republic know that this is a matter you really have to get resolved um, and that we're strong on the point. And also, um, going to the International uh, Human Rights uh, Court, the Inter-American Human Rights uh, Court. According to the Bahamas Constitution, people born here of non-Bahamian parents can apply for Bahamian citizenship at the age of 18. Mitchell says that won't change anytime soon. But as the government reviews its policy that affects a large number of people born here of Haitian parentage, he says this is what must happen. If your parents are Haitian, you go to the Haitian embassy and get a passport. And that's going to be a requirement uh, for documentation ever going forward. You'll get a residency permit to be in the Bahamas, just like your parents have. But you got to have a Haitian passport because too many people are just growing up without any documentation and then saying, hey, I can't travel and so on and so on. It's not true that you can't travel. It's not true that you can't get a visa from the U.S. and all the rest of that. What you need is a passport. You're entitled to a Haitian passport, and you need a residency permit. And once you've got those things, you're fine. Meantime, the situation in the Turks and Caicos Islands is getting worse. Mitchell says the government there is strangled by repayment terms of a loan the British government underwrote during the time the Missick government was suspended. The arrangement has the British territory unable to put funding into key social infrastructure. The Bahamas is appealing for CARICOM's continued support on this issue. They've been trying to speak to the British about trying to move those arrangements. The British are being intransigent about it. Uh, so we brought those issues to the fore. And also the fact that this investigative team, which they have working so-called to recover uh, property which uh, was um, uh, misappropriated or pilfered in some way during those years, um, turns out it was to a private, it's being done by a private British firm, and the lawyers have collected more for themselves in fees than they've actually recovered in terms of property that goes back to the country been trying to get the British to pay for that and they're refusing. The CARICOM heads of government meeting in Antigua and Barbuda ended on Friday. Julian Reed, ZNS Network News.